Good morning. It's the morning of day seven. I've just pulled out of um, Madura. Just pulled out of Madura. Um, we actually had a very comfortable night. I got in the dark last night, which was a non-issue. In fact, it was uh, it was quite uh, quite enjoyable. Uh, it was only about forty minutes. The last uh, last period there wasn't cold. Cool certainly, but not cold. So I enjoyed um, climbing the Madura Pass there and in this massive descent into the um, into the roadhouse. So it was a pretty uh, easy option last night. I think um, I think camping was. $25 and a budget um, backpacker kind of room was $50, $50. and to my astonishment the um, the room was just just excellent um, uh, you know somewhat crude but uh, to use a previous expression totally adequate it had a very hot powerful shower and it was warm and um, you know the things things that you want lots of blankets on the bed etc so um, yesterday was <coughs> yesterday was oh, I discussed the strong uh, noise was in your face, so that's that, that's the way it is. But yesterday I met three interesting people. Um, uh, a solo lady in a car yesterday stopped, and she was uh, travelling around around Australia, just recovering from the passing of her of her dad. So she of course gave me an icy cold um, uh, chocolate drink, <laughs> which is fantastic. And um, then not long later, I ran into the first cyclist, uh, a solo New Zealander. Um, that left Brisbane two months ago or something, so I had a good chat with him. And then to cap the day, I ran into this guy, um, couldn't believe this guy, an Irish guy, who his deal was he wants to walk around the world. So just staggering what people do. Anyway, so uh, I've got away quite late. It's so hard to get away early. I set the alarm this morning as I normally do for uh, 5 a.m. But it takes so long to pack. Uh, it sounds crazy, doesn't to pack a bike, but by the time you determine water requirements and food requirements and how you balance the load fore and aft with you know, the weight of water and weight of food, etc., and the weight of bike's handling and tire pressures and food set up for the day and etc., etc., clothing and anyway, it just seems to take a long time, no matter how experience you get at it <clears throat> but a good night's sleep last night and um, it was good to talk to a few people around the roadhouse last night <clears throat> so uh, off we go so we're just um, we're just descending Madura Pass here still and Mundra Villa I think would be the be the destination for today it's cool but it's not it's not as oppressively cold as it has been um, so no issue with the with the cold at the moment. <clears throat> the wind uh, disappointingly is from the northeast. That's just bad luck because uh, in the last few weeks I've been watching the meteorology like a hawk, and there's been um, been a habit of westerly, southwesterly, south southwesterlies, and that kind of pattern. And uh, out of the blue, we're copying these um, this pattern of northeasterlies daily. So the New Zealander solo cyclist yesterday was rejoicing in the fact that we. The, the northeasterlies are setting in, and of course he's going the opposite direction, which suited him perfectly. <clears throat> anyway, we push on. Um, yeah, all cool. Um, I'm well. I'm fine. The body's fine. I'm. I'm not. Uh, to my astonishment, somewhat. I'm not sore in any way. I've got no pains or joint issues, or and I'm not even that tired. So <clears throat> I guess I'm putting this down to I've done a lot of training. But also, I'm, I'm taking a lot of water and a lot of food, and I'm a bit obsessional about that. It, it probably themes through my videos just how it go on about it, but I think that is the key to it. <clears throat> and just managing your effort during the day, I just try and keep an even sort of psychological effort and physical effort during the day, and try and manage the um, manage you know what's going on. Anyway, we push on. I've got to make some miles, and um, I'll I'll talk back to you later. Catch you later. Bye now.